Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm using the July Kitaholic Kit uh, for this particular layout to do a Storyline Chapters insert layout and I am using purple. Who thinks that we don't get enough purple in uh, scrapbooking releases? I do. And as you can see, coincidentally, my hair is purple and pink. So the fact that we got this purple paper was just so perfect and it made me so happy. So I'm using these three photos of my new hair, uh, which is a thing that I seem to do now. Every time I get a haircut, I make a Kitaholy Kits layout with the project, with the, the products that came in it. Uh, I wanted to bring some white into this layout, which mimicked the white on the opposite side. And then I squirted out way too much gesso. Uh, and so I had a lot left over. So I'm just smudging it all over the place, creating just a bit of a smooshy background. Now that purple background was kind of already a bit mixed media, -y, bit, bit scrappy looking. So I, it, it worked quite well. And then I'm bringing this lilac paint from our mixed media kit over as well. I'm just checking to make sure I'm happy with the way the photos are. And then I'm going to stick them down as is the norm. The, a lot of the white that I put in always gets covered up, but it's just about what is peeking through. I'm adding, so I'm adding a lot of circles from the uh, die cut ephemera pack and because I wanted the circle to be the repeated element really in this particular layout, that paintbrush obviously had to use it because my hair is a rainbow and she used a brush to apply it, obviously. Uh, the title of this layout is called Simple Pleasures because having new hair makes me happy. And then I'm just sticking more of those circles in. I am making sure that the bits that are hidden behind the photos are the ones that don't exactly match the colors in my photos, if that makes sense. I am also adding this little paint tube because in my mind, that could also be hair dye. So I'm adding that in. I wish that we had a purple one because then I could have added both in, but it's fine. The pink one will do. To continue with that p circle element, I am going to just punch a few of the circles using the back of that pink paper. So those little polka dots, which I really like and I'm going to stick them on. And even though I am not actually using any sunnies in this particular layout, I'm putting those sunnies there because rainbow, and there was rainbow in my hair, and there was rainbow in the opposite side on that brush. So this has become a purple slash rainbow lay, blah, 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 sorry, tongue twister, a purple slash rainbow layout. Uh, and it made me very happy. Adding that best day sticker, and now I'm just going through the stickers that are clear so these are clear foil stickers they're absolutely beautiful and i am just sprinkling them kind of all over my layout to uh i don't know like a bit of interest bit of showing off because i wanted to really bust a lot of this uh kit i wanted to make sure i use a lot of that sticker stuff the, this the, sorry the clear stickers and yes yeah, so i'm adding those honestly they make a big difference i think you don't even notice them at first glance but they do actually look quite interesting, I guess is the way to use it. So once those have all been stuck on, I'm doing four clusters of three. I am going to add a little label. I'm going to write very little. Uh, I didn't need much journaling. The photos kind of speak for themselves. I'm adding a date, a few little black plus signs, and I am pretty sure that's it. This layout is done. I'm not reinventing the wheel with this layout. I've done a very similar sort of idea before, but I wanted to do something that I felt comfortable with and this was it. And I'm not even waving goodbye to you. I'm so sorry. The video will just end. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a good week and I will see you all next month for the August kit. Bye.